Welcome to part two of our car paint mini series and in this quick take we're going to be having a look at how we can create a metallic car paint material. Now just as a primer if you haven't watched part one then I would recommend watching that first as some of the techniques mentioned in this part two we skip over as we've already covered them in part one. So for a metallic car paint we need our metallic base material and for this we use a llama conductor node. And again, as in part one, the base color is driven by a mask and a Pixar mix node is used to drive the two colors of our base paint. The result of this Pixar mix is then connected to the tint color of our Llama conductor node. The Fresnel mode is set to scientific and an aluminium preset has been used with the roughness being set to 0.3. And the next thing we need to do is create the paint flakes that give us that sparkle in our metallic car paint. Let's have a look at how you can use the Pixar Flakes technique by dropping in a Pixar Flakes node. And to start to see the result, we need to connect the result end output into the normal input of our Llama Conductor node. And this is how it looks, and you can see now that we're starting to get our metallic paint. Feel free to adjust the parameters of the Pixar Flakes node to suit your desired look and also your scene scale. As we know from part one, we now need to add a clear coat layer over the top of our base. We also know that we need to ensure that opacity and interior is activated in the llama surface along with the absorption colour being set lower than pure white in our llama dielectric node and the layer thickness in our llama layer set above zero. With all that done this is our final metallic car paint. 